19th of February 2020, BBC News. from the EU will have to get to 70 points. Now they'll need to speak English and they'll need to have the offer of a job and that has to be skilled work. The additional points to get to the threshold can be met by having more qualifications, having a higher salary or working in a sector where there's a shortage of workers. This basically redefines our immigration policy. So the brightest and the best people with skills need to come to the UK and we will no longer have the routes for cheap, low-skilled labour that obviously has dominated immigration and our labour market for far too long in this country. We do advertise in the industry. When we put advertisements in the press, in the job centres, for labourers, people don't want to work outdoors in the UK. And that's a problem. So where there's a shortfall, that's where it's filled in by migrants. Not a lot of people want to do this job. Uh, they look down it and I think what normally happens is that this is the last option. A lot of my friends work in London. They work in an office. They've never picked up a drill in their life. All that's going to happen now is that we won't be able to deliver the housing, the extensions, the loss that we could previously, and we're just going to reduce our output. We've never met the housing target, and we're certainly not going to meet it now. And previously, it was an open-door policy to a certain degree. We still found it difficult to meet the needs of the housing market. Um, so it's just going to get worse and worse, and our business won't grow like it could grow. Probably people will feel more comfortable to come to sites where you can talk to everyone on, a, on the same level, because uh, obviously there's that language barrier on most sites and that's not being rude or disrespectful at all but it, there is that barrier and it does make things harder so it, yeah potentially it probably could be a lot better in the long run. I think this policy is going to turn into a model and yet it sends a very clear message that immigration is a bad thing and I think that's a toxic message we have only just become a country that has net uh, in migration and a growing population and that's entirely thanks to freedom of movement which is coming to an end. So the real risk for Scotland now is that our population as a whole and our working age population in, in particular goes into decline and that is bad for everybody, for taxpayers, for, for business uh, and for the, the public finances.